guys. It's Chatty Dad One coming at you today. Um, I was looking for mass animal deaths and see what's going on here lately, and it's pretty sparse. Um, the information that I've been able to find, it's not being, you know, it's not being advertised and told to us by the media like it should. Millions of kangaroos are dying from mysterious disease in Australia, you know. 358,000 birds killed to avian flu across Saudi Arabia. I mean, look at the amount of birds, animals, fish, things from the sea that are living that are being found dead. 16,500 ducks killed. 53,000 more to be killed due to avian flu in South Korea. I mean, it's just sad. It's just, just totally sad. Thousands of dead fish wash upon the beaches in Alabama and America. I wonder what that's due do to. Can anybody say Gulf Blue Plague? Yucatan, Mexico. Hundreds of birds dying. Thousands of blue penguins dying in New Zealand. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And, uh, these life forms share the same earth we share. What happens to them will happen to us. Seven dead sea lions have washed up during the past month in Mexico. Hundreds of thousands of fish die to cold in South Korea. Um, <laughs> I thought they was able to get out of the way of the cold. You know, that just some of the stuff don't make sense. 35 manatees have died due to cold in Florida. Let me tell you, it has not been cold in Florida. It has been one of the warmest winters that we've had. I've seen manatees up the Santa Fe River, and it stays at a constant temperature of 72 degrees. The water does. I mean, it's just, uh, this is just sad, guys. 160 tons of fish die in a lake in Indonesia. Dozens of swans belonging to Queen Elizabeth dying in Windsor. Twenty-one dolphins dead in Mexico. I mean, what is this from? I believe we've gone past the mark here. Three hundred twenty-five monkeys have just been found dead. That's in twenty-first of February. Rio, uh, in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Thousands of dead fish washed upon appear in Buffalo Harbor. Three dead dolphins found in Mississippi on the beach. The 
This is worldwide, not just in America. Millions of dead sea creatures wash up in England. All kinds. Starfish. Crustaceans. My gosh, look at the crabs. All kinds of things. Tens of thousands of dead starfish wash up on the beach in Kent, England. And I'm not going to go to the links um, for saving time. I'm just showing you guys 700,000 plus animals have died due to extreme cold in Mongolia. And they say we're having global warming. Extremes. We're going to have extreme heat and extreme colds. But it doesn't make sense that they just die. Thousands of dead fish wash up again due to red tide in the Indian River Lagoon, Florida. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know that it is due to red tide. I say again, the Gulf Blue Plague which I have videos on that if you guys want to go back and look the corrects it that they've sprayed the uh, stuff that they've sprayed to eat the oil also consumes anything that is a living organism and the oil that they're uh, pumping out is living organism And I know what some of you are going to say. And it does, I don't care. You've, you've called me everything in the book. I don't care. You're not going to bother me. And I'm not going to put up with name calling and insults. You can act like grown ups, or I will uh, take your comments off of the channel. We can all be adults about this because I'm not going to put up with any middle school kids coming in here and calling me all kinds of names or calling any of you all kinds of names for you all's comments. That's not tolerable. I'm not going to allow it. Not on this channel. I'm just pre presenting you with all this information, which is uh, sad. It's very sad. I mean, this is just this year, and the list is just on and on. 38 dead whales in New Zealand. The list goes on. Tons of dead sea worms in Chile. Wow. That's bizarre. 191 dead horses in Arizona because there's no water. You know, um, they're geoengineering the skies so that it's raining where they want it to rain and it's not raining where they want it to not rain. And the planet is suffering. You can't take over this kind of stuff and uh, play God without consequences. And this goes up to the 8th of May. Um, 2018. And there's more that I've found. Um, here is a little clip. And on the side over here. <laughs> it says that... Uh, Wildlife officials told ABC News on December the 14th that thousands of a duck-like aquatic bird 
were migrating to the Gulf of Mexico when they mistook a vast parking lot of a Walmart in St. George, Utah, and other surrounding areas for water and crashed into the ground. One official said around 2,500 to 3,000 birds were rescued. Shown here is one of rescued birds. Birds just don't crash into the ground like that, people. There's something else going on. Something else is definitely going on. Um, the only link that I could see on here that uh, is really telling the truth is this link here. You know, of the prophesied end times. And uh, it definitely has been prophesied of what's going to happen to the earth, what's going to happen to us. And there's more. I just, uh, I'm not going to go onto the sites because of the commercials that they put up there and it messes with my system because I've got an ad box up because, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to advertise for them. Anyways, I hope everybody's well. Um, do your best to help one another out. Keep your heads up. And get out and look around. Look at what the earth is telling us. Pay attention to the animals. Pay attention to nature. Um, it all speaks to us. We can all learn different things from what nature around us is telling us. And uh, do your best to continue to prepare as best you can in this tough world that we live in where those who uh, work secret combinations are doing their best to totally take control and uh, enslave the rest of humanity. They, they plan on wiping a bunch of people out the population is way too high as far as they're concerned even though there's plenty of food um, you know they, it just doesn't make sense what they're talking about we could help so much more than we do and a lot of people do help and a lot of people are doing a lot of good things to help those who can't sustain themselves but there's ways that we could go over here to these third world countries and teach them farming techniques, irrigation, and help them out. And teach them how to do the work themselves so that when we leave or whoever leaves, they can continue the cycle and continue to feed themselves. But anyway, I hope everyone's well and having a great day. Um... God bless. Good luck to us all. Uh, never give up your guns. I would say your freedom goes right along with it, but it's, I've come to find out that our freedoms are already just about gone. We just live under the illusion of freedom. But if you uh, get out there and see, they can come right in your house anytime they want. They don't need a warrant. And I've had them do it to me. Um, yeah, they apologized, but still, they came right in my door. I didn't answer it quick enough, and they walked right on in. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope everyone's well. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Do what's best. 
keep trying your best to do what's right and learn about stuff get out there and watch nature it'll tell you things and pray for our country you know pray for our world because uh, we're, we need all the prayers we can get. Alright, this is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.